McDonald reinvented itself in India, by Laja, Yan Yang, and Yu Wai. McDonald's or Macca's, the common name that is called by many Australians, is an American fast food chain that provides food services. These services include restaurant dine-in and takeaway. Their menu includes hamburgers, cheeseburgers, and French fries, chicken products, breakfast items, soft drink, milkshakes, wrap, and dessert. McDonald was found in 1954 in San Bernardino, California, United States. It started with the McDonald brother accepting Ray Kroc's offer to expand their businesses into a franchise. Today, McDonald's has more than 36,000 restaurants in over 119 countries. In this presentation, we will be talking about McDonald's reinvented itself in India, the challenges that they face by switching to vegetarian option rather than beef. With over 80% of Indians religiously identifying as Hindu, in which beef is considered holy and not to be consumed. This presentation is brought to you by Yan Yang Chung, Elijah Thompson, and Yu Wai Chung. Question 1. Do you think McDonald's entry strategy was appropriate for the Indian market? McDonald's entry strategy into the Indian market was significantly different from previous entries into host markets by McDonald's. McDonald's marketing strategy was appropriate as they carefully planned, researched, and laid roots in India five years prior to opening their first store, navigating through tough Indian laws and regulations. Contract enforcement can be defined as rules set and administered by the state and determined when an argument is enforceable, the grounds on which a brief breach of an agreement will be found and the consequences. In 1991, India was facing difficulty with contract enforcement. This, along with local Indian entrepreneurs' reluctancy to invest in facilities that depend on goodwill of a giant foreign company, made franchising of the restaurants extremely difficult. Identifying suitable suppliers and helping them grow their supply chain five years prior to opening their stores allowed for McDonald's to create pre-existing relationships with local farmers in the area. A joint venture can be defined as two separate firms working on a project together for a set period of time. McDonald's established two 50-50 joint ventures with local entrepreneurs including real estate magnate Mr. Vikram Bakshi. They established Cognac Pizza Restaurants, LTD, CRPL, in New Delhi, and with Mr. Amat Jyati, they established Hardcastle in Mumbai. These factors allowed McDonald's to enter the market, Indian market with experience, knowledge, and local backing, and was the appropriate way to enter the market. What have been key success factors for growing the McDonald's business in India? Prior to McDonald's expansion into the Indian market, McDonald knew that they had to do things differently. McDonald has considered that fast food concept was unknown in the country. Income were low and the food supply chain in India were unreliable. Indian population are 80% Hindu and they do not consume beef, which is the main ingredient for McDonald hamburger and Muslims do not eat pork, and neither do most Muslims. Five years before the open of its first restaurant, McDonald's started building a local supply chain. This allowed McDonald's to help the local to have more income and jobs. McDonald's has adapted the menu to suit the local taste, and Indian became the first country where McDonald's served non-beef and pork products. As a substitute for beef, McDonald's introduced chicken, fish base and vegetarian burger into Indian market, but surprisingly, the hottest product was vegetarian, called the Aloo Tiki Burger, which made from mashed potatoes and peas, flavoured with Indian spices. McDonald's expanded their market in India by adapting and creating new menu based on the local taste. With quality ingredient and an affordable price, one of the menu called Happy Menu cost 20 rupees, which is 30 cents euros. McDonald's did not just adapt their menu to what the Indian consumer want. 
They went above and beyond to ensure they were putting the consumer first. They display menus on different colors menu to make it easy for the consumer to read. Green menu board for vegetarian and purple for non-vegetarian products. Expanding on this, McDonald's also made it mandatory for staff to wear different color uniform to match the colors of the board and made staff work in separate areas of the kitchen when preparing food. McDonald's have respect to Indian culture and religious belief that no meat or ingredient of animal origin to touch other vegetarian products during the process. McDonald's has been really successful for penetrating into the Indian market. As it has previously researched on the host market culture, religion and taboo and it incorporate these differences into its new model of business in India. The most successful factor for the growing business is that McDonald have come to understand the difference of the culture and adapt to the new environment and improve on the imperfection such as building their own local supply chain and adapt new menu to suit local taste and handle the religion side aspect of India changing and substituting of meat products. Question 3. What are the probable causes for conflict with their co-owner Vikram Bashi? McDonald's and Vikram Bashi were constantly in conflict due to the poor results of Bashi's franchises compared to Jata's. McDonald's offered to buy out Bashi's share in the company and lowballed him with an offer of only 5 million US dollars. Bakshi had the financials checked by an accountant and knew his 50% stake was worth approximately 165.5 million US dollars at the time. This resulted in negotiations dragging on and never closing between McDonald's and Bakshi. McDonald's were unimpressed with Bakshi's stores in the north and east and were strongly against his re-election as CPIL directing manager, claiming he was acting in financial misconduct. McDonald's took Bakshi to court several times, with Bakshi winning each case at every level. This conflict, conflict reached breaking point in 2011 when McDonald's cancelled their franchise agreement with CPIL, who still owns 50%, citing non-payments of royalties as the main reason. This gave Bakshi two weeks until notice until all 169 restaurants were to be closed. McDonald's even asked suppliers to stop supplying goods to CPIL. All this conflict had a negative effect on McDonald's. It slowed their growth in India and in the North and East particularly, from 29 to 6% in four years and allowed for Domino's, the pizza chain, to overtake McDonald's as the number one fast food outlet in the country. How could the conflict with Vikram Bakshi best be resolved? The conflict should have been short and not long going for 10 years. The current status of the conflict is that Vikram Bakshi has won all case in court against McDonald's. Except LCIA, the London Court of International Arbitration, has ruled Bakshi had to sell its stake in CPRL. Later, the local food supply that supplied Bakshi McDonald discontinued its service with CPRL. This caused 84 closure of the restaurants. However, Bakshi contract a new supplier and reopened the restaurants. McDonald objected as the new supply chain raised a safety concern and it could no longer be monitored for quality. McDonald then sought court to prohibit CPRL from using the McDonald name, yet it lost the case in the Dehi High Court. CPRL continued to operate McDonald's stores despite conflict with the brand owner. Its business sale is rising in 2018. The conflict could have been resolved at the start. McDonald could have offered a fair price for the stake or let its own accounting firm to evaluate the price. It also could have approached Bakshi in a more friendly manner, thanking him for operating the franchise up until now and offered to buy off his joint venture in a fair manner and not just straight up lowball the offer. The best way a McDonald's should approach this conflict is to stop ruining its reputation, renegotiate and approach Bakshi with an appropriate offer and thank him for his services and look for a more suitable partner in the meantime. In conclusion
inspiration for McDonald to reinvent itself in India after the huge loss from Vikram Bakshi would be quite difficult but not impossible. Given the prior solution ideas and suggestion from the previous slide, given that McDonald had a great entry strategy for the India market, it could prove itself again.